Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, I wanted to do a little dive into uh, where everybody's models went for uh, the old world. You know, it's been a while. It's been like nine years that uh, the old world was kind of on hiatus uh, and Age of Sigmar happened and all of the armies kind of got broken up, moved around, combined, renamed. Um, there's been new releases and re-sculpts and model line changes, things discontinued, yada, yada, yada. So people, I think, are kind of confused as to where some of their stuff is. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to just kind of go through. Um, I know a lot of folks have some feelings about Age of Sigmar that are old world fans. Um, so probably were a bit disconnected from some of this stuff, but that issue is not what we're here about today. We're here to just talk about models for the old world and where you can find some cool stuff in the Age of Sigmar ranges that um, are either what it used, like where the old armies went in Age of Sigmar and some new stuff uh, that you can pick up as well. So, for Age of Sigmar, we've gone from, you know, the old world that we have uh, currently between the officially supported armies and the legacy armies. There are 16 different factions to choose from. In Age of Sigmar, there's currently 27. So, and not all of that is just new army releases from scratch. Uh, a bunch of this was things getting split up and moved around. Um, uh, there were a few that were completely discontinued, but, uh, you know, two of those were already getting back for the old world. Um, uh, lots of things have been re-sculpted. There's a lot of cool new stuff. And especially with the larger base sizes that we have for old world now, um, even with the more dynamic poses that are in Age of Sigmar that are more designed to be on round bases in sort of a skirmish movement rather than ranked up, uh, most of these will still fit nicely on the bases, even though they've had re-sculpts. A um, couple of other things to definitely be aware of as well, uh, Warcry and Underworlds. These are two other games that you may or may not be aware of that are offshoots of Age of Sigmar. Um, Warcry is really a very small scale skirmish game played on a, you know, a quarter of the size of, uh, you know, an ordinary Warhammer table. And, uh, you know, you're playing typically with like 10 models or so, give or take on each side. Um, but those have a lot of really awesome warbands with some really unique looking models that you can slot into various other places in armies. Uh, Warhammer Underworlds is, it's kind of somewhere between like board game, tabletop game, collectible card game. Um, a lot of things here, they're like, I would say like three to six models per warband, but they're all like amazing sculpts. So great place to grab like a handful of character sculpts for not a lot of money. Um, and in general, something that has just been a trend over Age of Sigmar over the last few years, we just keep getting tons of new character sculpts. There's a million out there now. Um, the, the things that they've really gone bananas on in Age of Sigmar are characters and centerpiece models. Uh, most of the centerpiece models don't really work with the old world, um, because they're just big stuff um but some of them do and some of them are new versions of old things uh age of sigmar just has very large base sizes for those i believe the biggest one i think i've seen is like a 160 millimeter round um which is really big it's very big um and that is just not a thing in old world at all So quick recap for folks on, you know, just a little flowchart on 
where things went. I've gone way more in depth on this in videos in the past. Um, so this is just the quick and dirty. Basically, Bretonia, Tomb Kings, Chaos Dwarves, and High Elves all got the axe in Age of Sigmar. Bretonia and Tomb Kings obviously have been re-released. High Elves we will probably get at some point relatively soon. Chaos Dwarves, uh, I mean, they're probably gone-ish. I don't know what to really do with Chaos Dwarves. Um, then on the flip side of it, we have a few armies that basically have had pretty much no change at all. Uh, Ogres, Skaven, Beastmen, Warriors of Chaos, and Lizardmen are all pretty much what they were 10 years ago. Um, a bunch of these have gotten new sculpts um, or additional models added to them. Um, I think the only notable exceptions here, um, Lizardmen did get a few uh, models dropped or replaced with something similar, but definitely different. Um, but they, I think the new sculpts would still work well for a lot of that stuff. Um, and then Warriors of Chaos becoming Slaves to Darkness. Um, it's mostly had a lot of things added to it, and most of the range has been resculpted. Um, now, the resculpts are great, and they do actually aesthetically fit in perfectly with the old models. Same thing for your Lizardmen Seraphon models. Those are great. Um, Beastmen, Skaven, Ogres. I mean, Skaven still currently have the single oldest sculpt in all of Age of Sigmar that is currently in production. Um, the Skaven Plague Priest from 1993 is still in production. Um, a few things have been added for Skaven, but not a ton of stuff. Um, and they're just cool models. Like if there's, you know, if you're not familiar, there's basically a new engineer that has like a rocket launcher. So he's cool. Um, <laughs> you know, Warcry warbands and Underworld warbands and stuff in there as well. Um, so just some cool things. The complicated part is the things that got broken up and moved around. So Wood Elves, all of the actual elves in that army have been discontinued. All of the tree stuff is still there. Your dryads and your branch wraith and tree men, all of that stuff is in Sylvaneth. Uh, there's also been a bunch of other new releases in Sylvaneth too that are just cool sources of other models that you might find some uses for. Um, dwarves, the Empire, and Dark Elves all got consolidated down into one army, that is Cities of Sigmar. Most of the Empire and the Dwarves have been discontinued. There's very few models left from the Empire, a handful from Dwarves, but Dwarves are also just getting their own re-released for the Old World soon anyway, so that kind of doesn't matter. Dark Elves are, almost this entire range is still here. The only catch is that it got split up between Cities of Sigmar and a new army called Daughters of Cain. So all of like the Witch Elves and all of that stuff went to Daughters of Cain, and then all of your uh, more or less like normal troops um, from the Dark Elves, your normal rank and file stuff, uh, all ended up in Cities of Sigmar. It's just where to find the boxes, where to find it on the website. That's really the only difference there. Um, orcs and goblins just got split up into two separate armies, really. Orcs and goblins. Orc war clans and Gloomspite gits. Um, both of those have gotten a ton of new models. And orcs in particular got a lot of things that got the axe. And um, But it doesn't really matter because they just got their new... Uh, release for the old world anyway so it's all there gets you just got there's so much new squig stuff holy crap just go check it out they're awesome models vampire counts got broken up into three separate armies sorta um 
the main thing that it went into is sold like grave lords um that is really just you know it, the body of what vampire counts once was um all of the ghosty kind of stuff went to night haunt and then all of the like ghouls and horrors went over to flesh eater courts there's also a handful of things that went over to a new army called Ossiarch Bone Reapers, um, but I don't think there's even anything in the Vampire Counts army list that's in there that I can think of off the top of my head. It's just a couple of other random things. Demons of Chaos. Uh, this just got broken up into uh separate armies for each of the four main chaos gods along with the mortal stuff that was in warriors of chaos that was dedicated to a specific god it all got broken up in there so you know if you're looking for you know corn demons they're in blades of corn if you're looking for nurgle demons they're in magakin and nurgle pretty straightforward um there really hasn't been anything discontinued out of those, and they have gotten some additional models as well. Um, because this is now an army that's shared across three games. So Games Workshop trying to make changes to this model line is an absolute nightmare. They would have to basically change three games at the same time uh, if they're going to change the model line at all. So they're kind of screwed. And, uh, you know, so this is just the basics of kind of where stuff works. All right, um, this is just kind of a, a quick look at what's available now and how much stuff is around. We've got our three releases that came already for the old world. Um, we've got all of those armies that are Age of Sigmar lines that are more or less untouched. Um, that yeah, you know, pretty much everything is there somewhere. Uh, so Warriors of Chaos, Beastmen. Dark Elves, Skaven, Demons, Ogres, and Vampire Class. Pretty much all of those are just kind of there. They're just in armies with different names. Then we have some partials. Um, dwarves have a handful of stuff. The Empire has a few, not many anymore. Uh, Wood Elves, same deal. It's just your tree people, as I mentioned before. And Lizardmen, most of it's still there. They just had a big range re-sculpt and a handful of things got dropped and like replaced with similar but different stuff. Um, and then our two like total orphan armies, High Elves and Chaos Dwarves. Uh, but as we will see momentarily, High Elves, there's still stuff around um, that uh, can work quite nicely in there. All right, so let's dig into the Empire a little bit. Um, as far as kits that are just still around from the 8th edition, the Griffin, the Wizard on Foot, Flagellants, and Steam Tank, all still there, but that's it. Uh, there's a couple of other things that you can just grab pretty easy replacements that will pretty go, go pretty well. Um, the Free Guild Marshal on foot, I think, is just a great model and will fit in perfectly with the Empire. Uh, the Cavalier Marshal is pretty good. He's just hero on horseback. Um, three fantastic models for Witch Hunters, Galen and Duralia Van Dest and Haskell Hexbane. Um, there is a new Ironweld Great Cannon that is just a, a great cannon with more crap on the base um it's some really great crew members by the way like i want to pick up that kit just to do stuff with the crew um free guild cavaliers are basically knights but they're not quite the, the aesthetics not quite there um uh, and then we have a, a bunch of different characters uh, that we have available, uh, some new stuff. In particular, the Free Guild Command Core. I want to just point out to people that, I mean, it, this is basically a, a unit that is just a bunch of different characters. I think they were originally supposed to, in like the pre uh, creation of all of this stuff before the rules were actually written, it was probably supposed to be 
each one individually being its own character and then they ran out of rule space um so they dumped it all into one unit um so some other things that we can look at here um pontifex zenestra uh i think can work well for the war altar of sigmar um she is a priest of sigmar so all of your um uh, like all the iconography and general appearance looks right on her uh she's just on a litter instead of a big war altar um alternatively the luminarch and hurricanum kit is also still there from the later editions of warhammer fantasy which just has the same body as the war altar so that would be an easy conversion um for an Empire Engineer, the Alchemite Warforger is a really cool model. Uh, state Troops or Militia, Free Guild Steel Helms. Uh, the aesthetic is definitely off on those, though. Um, but I think maybe for Militia in particular, they would work. Um, Fusiliers could uh, get swapped in for Handgunners. Um, I don't know why I have those listed in reverse there, but that's okay. Um, and then the Relic Envoy that comes with the uh free guild marshal i think could make like a decent like stand-in priest um things you're missing like there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that's just missing really quick demigriffs crossbows pegasus great swords mortar rocket battery volley gun pistoliers outriders priests mounted wizards and mounted winchesters um a lot of stuff a lot is missing from the empire right now so i'm hoping that uh, we will get that really soon because this line really needs it to be like to be able to easily pick this up if you don't already have an empire army or easy access to one. You just can't really build a proper empire army right now. All right, let's run through a couple others real quick. Um, dwarves. You still have your engineers, your lord, your runesmith, gyrocopter, gyro, gyro bomber, iron drakes, hammerers, long beards, iron breakers. Um, I mean, everything else is gone, really. Uh, we do have two new dwarf armies in Age of Sigmar. That is Fire Slayers and the Caradron Overlords. Their aesthetics are pretty different. However, I think your I think Fire Slayers can easily sub in for the Slayer stuff in particular, although that's like one hero in one unit, and Fire Slayers is a whole army. <laughs> um, and then for Quarrelers and Thunderers, I think you could probably use uh, the Caradron Overlords units fairly easily, maybe with some like head swaps. Um, just use like Grunstock Thunderers and uh, Arcanaut Company. Um, but again, I'm not sure it, how well the aesthetic will work, but they exist. Uh, Wood Elves, all we got Branch Wraith, Tree Men, Dryads, Tree Kin. That's it. Dark Elves. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this because it's basically the whole army. Um, but it, as I said, it's split up between Cities of Sigmar and Daughters of Cain. It's basically all there. Um, you know, the new um, Canari Life Takers and Heart Renders uh, could be great alternative models for Harpies. Uh, there's also new Harpies in Slaves to Darkness as well, which I think, if I remember correctly, those minis were shared between dark elves and warriors of chaos or demons long long ago i think they were the same model i'm not sure um but either way i mean they're not particularly chaosy um they're just you know dark things uh missing stuff all you're really missing here is your beast master which you can easily grab a different character to do that um the shades there's no manticore. Uh, there's no dark elf bolt thrower, but there's a couple of other options that you can probably grab. Uh, and then just 
your mounted characters, um, but those are easy enough to convert, really. So I think if you want to run Dark Elves, it's it's going to be really easy to slide right into that with uh, what's currently out there. And with the new sculpts that we've gotten for Daughters of Cain, there are just some awesome new options for models if you want to grab stuff out of there. I, again, particularly the characters. Um, I mean, some of them I just want to grab because they're cool just to paint them. Like, I really like them a lot. All right, uh, lizard men and vampire counts. Uh, this is like my fifth time recording this slide because something got screwed up. So let me just hit this real quick because I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> uh, lizard men, big line resculpt on this. Um, most of the stuff is still there with just new models. Um, salamanders are now spawn of Chotek. Uh, Cold one riders are discontinued, but they got replaced by skinks riding dinosaur things instead of dinosaurs riding dinosaur things. Uh, and then Jungle Swarms and Razor Dawn's got the axe, but what else is new? A lot of that happened in Age of Sigmar. Uh, Vampire Counts, uh, Soulblight Grave Lords, Night Haunt, Flesh Eater Courts is where you're going to find all of that stuff. Um, very little actually got cut here. Uh, there's no mounted vampire and there's no more bat swarms. Uh, the black coach got a new model. It is insanely big. Uh, it is not going to work for the old world at all. It barely works for Age of Sigmar. Like it doesn't fit on its Age of Sigmar base either. It hangs off the front and the back. It's enormous. It's a really cool model. It just, uh, it just isn't that functional. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, moving on. All right, and then High Elves. So High Elves are gone. But we did get Lumineth Realm Lords, which are basically reimagined High Elves. Now, all of the range is not here. But you do have your basics. You've got archers, you've got sword guys you've got spearmen you've got knights and a ballista or you know bolt thrower and then a whole bunch of heroes which also include like a battle standard bearer which is incredibly rare for age of sigmar um battle standard bearers in age of sigmar just aren't a thing really but um this army kind of has one anyway like there's a, obviously like a guy holding a giant banner of sort some sort is just a character option so there are a few armies that have them and lumineth realm lords happens to be one of them the aesthetic here actually works i think pretty well with um high elves so if you need to add to a high elf army i think there's some good options here again particularly the characters i think could work great um but again i hope for the sake of high elf players that they get that really soon because this is an army that needs it uh, and then just a few other things that i thought i would point out for things that are just other options uh there's dragons around um ionis cryptborn is a great option for a dragon as well as the Dracothian Guard and Knight Draconis. That's the lower left-hand corner here. Um, those are from Stormcast Eternals. Um, and I will tell you from personal experience that a regular old human or elf-size uh, mounted hero, rider, whatever, uh, fits into the same saddles as those guys and looks totally fine. Um, I've done both. It, they're great they're great models so just do a conversion you know pop that you know dumb stormcast off of there because i personally hate those guys too and um just throw on a guy from whatever appropriate army and have at it uh talia vedra is from the new cities of sigmar line and you know she's basically riding a manticore so it's a cool option. The stance is kind of wide, so that might be a challenge, uh, but I've seen people make it work. Um, and then top right is just the Celestar Ballista. 
It's a fairly generic looking ballista from your uh, Stormcast Eternals line. So, you know, if you need a bolt thrower, it's there and it's about the right size. Just throw in some random models for crew and, you know, do some conversions, change the iconography up to make it fit with your army. Uh, and then one last one I wanted to just show people real quick. Um, this is one of the new Age of Sigmar armies. Uh, well, at least some of the models anyway. The Ideneth Deep Kit. And they are, uh, well, underwater fish elves, basically. But they're another elven army that I think their aesthetic could easily work in with uh, the other elf armies. If you're looking for new sculpts to throw in, um, they're really cool models. And if you just you know swap out some heads or uh, scrape off some uh, runes and icons or whatever, uh, do a little bit of converting on these guys. I think they're a really great source. Um, like, yes, there are guys there riding eels, but those are pretty standard, like, knights other than the eel. So if you're looking for cool riders, uh, that's a cool kit to go to. Um, lots of great characters in this army as well. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for now. Uh, hopefully this has helped out some people. Uh, this is just kind of fun for me going through all of the different kits that are available now and uh, figuring out how to use things for the old world. And I, I personally just enjoy the the history of how we went from those old like Warhammer Fantasy Battles armies to where we're at in Age of Sigmar now. Um, I did a big video on it a while ago and like like agonizing detail and i kind of want to do one that goes even into even more detail but anyway um that's beside the point uh hopefully this has helped you guys and uh yeah stay tuned for more old world and age of sigmar stuff in the future see you guys later